hello dear students welcome back to my channel in this video we will see target 80 question number 6 that is difficulty level from the unit real numbers based on HCF and LCM so I've solved three questions in this video watch complete video and also practice question is there solve it do join the whatsapp channel the link is in the description and also do subscribe the channel so from real numbers you have two mark how many questions two questions will be for your examination from real numbers one mark one question two mark two questions one of the question will be proving irrational number that is already have learned next two mark questions will be based on HCF find LCF. It will be based on HCF and LCM. So based on HCF and LCM, it will be difficult question. That means the question will be based on difficulty level. So you should try to understand. See, and in this video, I'll solve three questions. All the three questions are very important. See the relationship between HCF and LCM. For example, if you want to find out HCF and LCM of two numbers A and B. A and B are two positive numbers. If you want to find out HCF and LCM of these two numbers, the relationship between these two numbers and HCF and LCM will be HCF of two numbers into LCM of two numbers equals A into B. That means the product of HCF and LCM equals product of two numbers. Understood? Yes, sir. Two numbers in the bar. You are finding out HCF and LCM of two numbers by using prime factorization method or any other method. So the product of HCF and LCM will be equal to product of those two numbers. In the examination, what they will give? What they do? They will give HCF, LCM and one of the numbers you need to find out the other number. Right? Otherwise what they will do? They will give the product of these two numbers. Directly they will give the product of these two numbers. They will give any one number you should find out the other number. Okay? So based on this concept we will have question for 3 marks. In this video we will solve 3 questions. Try to understand. Now we will see the first question. All the questions are from model papers. Okay. So all the questions are very good. Try to understand. The product of HCF and LCM of two numbers is 2016. What we have given the product HCF into LCM. Product they have directly given. The product of HCF and the LCM of two numbers is 2016. 2016. Understood? Product of two numbers, sorry, product of HCM and of LCM is what? 2016. And one of the number is 42. One of the number is 42. We should find out the other numbers. That means we should find out the value of B, the other number, and also we should find out HCF. HCF of after finding the value of B, that is the other number, we should find out the HCF of A and B. Understood? You understood the question? Let me repeat again the product of HCF of two numbers is 2016. One of the number is 42. We should find out the other number. After finding the other number, we we'll find out the HCF of these two numbers. What is the relationship between HCF? HCM and the product of two numbers. That is, we know, right? What is the relation? HCM. We... HCM. No. HCF into LCM equals A into B. Repeat loudly. HCF into LCM equals A. Into LCM equals product of two numbers. They have directly given this. HCF into LCM is 2016. One of the number is what? 
the other number we should find out. It is value of B we should find out. Now B equals what? B equals 2016. That is 2016 divided by 42. So value of B will be equal to divide 2016 by 42. I have already divided it. So the answer will be 48. Understood? Just uh, 2016 by 42 division will get 48. So very easy, right? Yes. Directly they have given the value of HCF. I will get HCF. That is 2016. One of the number is 42. Other number you should divide. You will get the other number as 48. What is the next uh, question? <coughs> Find out the HCF of 42 and 48. HCF of 42 and 48. 42 comma 48. We need to find out the HCF for 42 and 48 by the method of prime factorization. That is, find the factors of 42. What will you get? Two, 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 two is a one. Next, three, three, seven. So 42 equals what? Two into three into seven. In the same way for 48, two into two. फैक्टर्स Two and three, so HCF is equal to two into three, right? For HCF, you should write only the common numbers. The common numbers here are two and three. Is there any other common number? No, sir. So two three is a six. HCF equals what? Six. So you get finding out the other number one mark. Finding the HCF, you get one mark. So HCF is what? Yes. Yes. Understood. Yes. The next question is find the HCF of one thirty five and seventy five. What we should do? We should find out HCF. Question is we should find out the HCF of one thirty five, one thirty five comma seventy five. What is the question? We find the HCF of one thirty five and seventy five. By prime factorization method, then find the LCM of find the LCM of twenty and HCF of the one thirty five and seventy five. I understood. We should find out the HCF of one thirty five and seventy five. You will get some answer, right? We should find out the LCM of this answer. I consider this answer as X and twenty. Understood? Understood the question properly. First question is find the HCF of these two numbers. That is easy by prime factorization method. We find out the HCF of one thirty five and seventy five. We we'll get some answer, right? We should find out the HCF of this answer and twenty. Understood? Now what is the first step? We find out the HCF of one thirty five and seventy five by prime factorization method. One thirty five. What are the factors? Three, four, zero, and three, five, zero. Next, three, fifteen. Three times fifteen is forty-five. Next, three times five. So one thirty-five is equal to what? Three into three into three into five. Next, seventy-five. What do you get? Three into twenty-five. Right? Three times twenty-five is seventy-five. Three into seven. Five into five, so seventy-five is first. Three into five into five. What is HCF? What are the common numbers? Three and also five. Is there any other common number? HCF equals three into five, which is equal to fifteen. What is the next step? We should find out the LCM of fifteen and twenty. Understood? We should find out the HCF of 135 and 75. Then the answer of this with 20. So HCM, what we should find out? 
LCM of what? Understood? By again by prime factorization method. So 15 is find the factors of 15 that is 3 into 5. So 15 equals 3 into 5. 20 2 times 10. Next 2 times 5. So what you get? 20 equals 2 square into 5. What is LCM now? Huh? LCM equals for LCM we should write all the numbers except the common factors. For example, 2 square also you should write, 3 also you should write, 5 which is common, right? You should write only once. Again, now to 5 square into 5 and 5 square, what you write? You write the highest power. If 5 cube into 5 square into, you write 5 cube you write it. Okay? 3 into 5, 2 square into 5. So, write all the numbers, that is 2 square into 3 into 5. common you should write only once okay if with common if you have more power you should write the highest power 2 square is 4 3 is a 5 is a so LCM of 15 and 20 is 16 the least common multiple of 15 and 20 is 16 understood Yes sir. No. Yes sir. Next question. Question number three based on LCF and LCM. If the product of LCM and HCF, the product of HCF and LCM of two numbers is 2336. That is LCM into HCF is equal to what? 2, 3, double 6. Product directly they have given. You know? Product for the right. LCM, the product of LCM and HCF is 2, 3, double 6. And also they have given, and the HCF is 13. HCF equals what? 13. Understood? The product of HCF and LCM is 2, 3, double 6. And HCF is 13. What we should find out? We should find out the LCM. LCM we should find out. I if one of the number is 91. What? One of the number is 91. Find out the other number. What relation we should use? Say first HCF into LCM equals A into B. What is the product? What is A value? Into B. B equals what? 2 double 6 by 91. B equals what? Divide 2 3 double 6 by 91. You get the answer as 26. What you get? 26. Okay, you should divide and you should write. Okay, next what you should find out? LCM. So again, use the same relation. HCF into LCM equals what? A into B. HCF into LCM equals A into B. What is the product of two numbers? Product of LCM and HCF is 2, 3, double 6 and also the product of two numbers will be also 2, 3, double 6. HCF is how much? LCM is question mark. We should find it. So LCM equals 2, 3, double 6 by 13. So LCM equals if you divide 2336 by 13 you will get answer as 182. So LCM is what? 182. So based on HCF and LCM, definitely you get two mark questions. So based on this prime factorization method, the relationship between HCF and LCM is very important for how many marks? Two marks.